Hey guys, welcome to our special episode for Game Club, which we've started up here at Link Cable for our YouTube channel. Um, I'm joined by Steve of the Link Cable. This is his first time on video, but author yep. of many articles on the site. And returning guest host, Jeff, who's just all around everywhere all the time, <laughs> joining us. <laughs> Always. <laughs> um, so we decided to start up this little thing where once a month we're going to play a game that's most likely older, something that we've wanted to play but never have gotten to and uh give us the whole month to play the game and then we're gonna sit down and talk about it and have a little discussion here so this uh month's game we're playing play dead's inside which came out what, almost five years ago i think we just talked about and um i think some of us have played this before and some of us have never touched it so uh, i guess i'll open up the room and i'll start with who who has played this game before and uh what kind of background did you have the first time i have never played it i'll start that so I played it back when it came out. I think what summer twenty sixteen, like right right when it came out. It was um yeah, I think it was like a fifteen dollar game on Xbox Live and play it was four hour experience. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it back then. Yeah. The first time revisiting it for this show. Okay. Jeff, what about you? For me, I it's always one of those games I've heard of but never like actually got around to playing. And as you said earlier, this was a perfect reason to play it. So this exactly. is the first time for me. Now, have you guys played uh, Play Dead's other game, Limbo, that came out a few years oh, previously? Yeah. I think that was Many a summer times. of arcade game. Love, on Xbox. Love Limbo. Yeah, I liked Limbo a lot too. I thought I thought Limbo was a very unique game when it came out, and I actually really liked that. Yeah, so I Limbo also was one I didn't play when it came out, but I did play it for the first time probably about two years ago. So a little more recent than when Inside came out. So was, it, I really enjoyed that game. So I was excited to see what they brought to the table for the second one. Cool. So uh, what did you guys all play it on? What uh, consoles did you guys play PC. with? PC. Okay, I was on PC yeah, as I, well. I had it on Xbox. I owned it, actually. So I just re-downloaded it. Although it's on Games Pass as well. But I played it on, on console. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I played it on uh, PC and... Um, I had I, controller. Yeah, I, obviously I played a controller too. Yeah, I know the... Um, um, I'm trying to play the video here for it, and then it goes to an ad, of course, so it really ruins it. Um, I had it on PC from like <laughs> free advertisement long, for them. Yeah, free advertisement. I played it a lot. <laughs> uh, bought it a long time ago, and it was just super cheap. And I think I actually ended on something else, and it was just sitting there. Same. So it was something easy for me. I I almost considered buying it for Switch because it is on Switch, and I think this would be a great lay in bed handheld type of game but uh i didn't even realize it was out on switch well yeah. maybe not a good lay in bed game for you kevin we'll get to that later yeah no kidding <laughs> <laughs> um all right so let's let's talk about let's just, just talk about our like first impressions of the game playing this through so uh steve you said you have touched this game before so this is your yeah. maybe i'll go last because i'm curious i want to hear okay. your guys first impressions because it's you're new to the game so i'm curious to hear your first okay. impression then, so jeff you go similar... first i'll fix the video before i try to play ads for them again so I mean, I think you just loop ads the whole time. <laughs> we'll try to get some revenue, right? <laughs> um, no, I, I kind of did what you did, Kevin. I, I, pl I think I played Limbo, and then I ended up buying Inside saying, I want to play this game too because I love Limbo so much. And I got it, I don't know, it was like 4 or $5, right? It's, it's been so cheap lately on one of those Steam sales. So mm -hmm. I, I bought it and then just never got around to playing it until now. And, you know right from the beginning it has such a dark atmosphere that was similar to limbo but i enjoyed it because there was actually a little bit of attention to detail that you could see as opposed to limbo which was just all like shadows and darkness mm -hmm. so i already liked the atmosphere a little bit more um and then just just playing the game it i, I felt very reminiscent to limbo good puzzles good pacing there was only maybe one or two times in the game that i got a little frustrated or i had to look something up so i enjoyed i enjoy puzzle games when they're moderately satisfying and not too difficult to where i'm just struggling at every single one i have to end up looking them up anyway so i thought this game really captured that um i think i did enjoy the story of limbo a little more this one was a little more out there mm -hmm. as far as what the message was they were trying to say like limbo had like the little boy and the girl and they're trying to get together this was kind of I'm not sure more abstract, but <laughs> I think the way they did push. the puzzles and how you got to control the little guys with the helmet you put on and you eventually get to control like a little army at some point and then, you know, turning into the blob at the end, like all those things felt so good that it helped break the game up to not just be the same thing from beginning to end. Like you got to do all these different things with just one character and two buttons. And it was, I thought it was a great experience. 
Okay. So my my first impressions of it were it's very similar to Limbo because it's the 2D. And, and mind you, I haven't played Limbo since it came out. So it's been a long time. I'm just kind of remembering, you know, okay, this is a similar game. There's puzzles. It's 2D. And I kind of think of it already as decently positive because I like that game. Um, fast forward about 25 to 30 minutes in, the... Um, I really did enjoy the atmosphere. The color was a nice touch versus the black and white that, that was on Limbo. Um, the sounds were cool. I was kind of curious what was going on. I enjoyed being in the woods where you start off. Um, my interest did kind of fall apart a little bit as we got a little bit away from the woods and got more into like uh, like this secret base type thing we were in. And the puzzles were decently straightforward for the most part. Um, and kind of tying into what you said, Jeff, is me laying in bed playing on the Switch. The game was, I don't want to say boring, but it was, it's very sleepy and it made me very tired every time I played. I don't think the puzzles were challenging enough to make me think where it was like, okay, I need to do this, keep me awake. But I don't, I don't want to say they were too easy either because there were a couple that should trip me up. I think overall, maybe they could have been a little bit more challenging um, just to kind of keep my brain like interacted with what was going on. Because I did have to play this in several, like, playthroughs and sit, like, I'd sit, play for 40 minutes, and then I'd be like, ah, uh, all right, got to go back to bed, and I'm too tired to play. So, first impressions over the first, like, hour, I'd say, were okay. I didn't think they were great. I, I did think it was a little less exciting than Limbo, even though I thought it looked better. So, Steve, what about you? What were your first impressions going on? All right, tear them up, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I know, I'm curious. You know, it, you it's a game that... <laughs> The second time you, when you revisit playing it through a second time, it really does feel and play much differently when you know what's coming. Okay. You know, um, I'll say when I played it originally back in when it came out, I mean, it was, I really enjoyed it, but it's a short game. I probably beat it in like a night, maybe oh, two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was really a, a pretty quick experience. But I remember at the end, look, I sort of just blew through the, the game. And at the end, I remember it's like when you see the blob on the beach, you're just like, wow that was something like i have no clue what just happened but i had an experience through it and i really liked it for that um the second time through you know it's it's a game that i don't think is that amenable to to being replayed it's because it's you you sort of know that what's the, the arc that the story's going to go the puzzles aren't that interesting you know i mean they're like you're saying they're not too challenging they're enough to they're kind of keep middle line free. it's just like I didn't find them too easy, but I didn't find them too hard. But I, I think because of that, isn't that right where you want it? I, I usually I think you don't want them too hard. You don't, don't want know. them too easy. But at the same time, I felt like it was like I didn't have to think, and I definitely don't want them too easy because then it's just like okay, this is for kids. But I definitely don't want them too too hard. I think maybe there's four levels. There's too easy, okay, <laughs> just right, and too hard. And I think we were at a little too easy. For most puzzles, there were a couple that were in the too hard category that I did have to look up and cheat because I was like, I which one to finish this game? I can't stay awake half the time playing it. You know, I'd say that I feel like the first time through, I think the the challenge, Jeff, is spot on. I really think the puzzles like they're not too hard. You you, you might only get stuck a couple times in the game, you know, but it's enough that you're thinking about right. This it keeps the pacing going. But if you're replaying it, you kind of remember most a lot of the stuff. So it literally is just like going through the motions and you're just trying to get through it as quickly as possible. Now, so wait, like, how many of these puzzles did you remember from five years ago? Honestly, like more than you'd think. And just because wow. they're not that they're not that complicated. Memory. I think the one the ones that I was stuck on, I remembered because I was stuck on them and I had to like spend some time yeah. doing. And then the easy ones that I didn't get stuck on, I just still didn't get stuck on. So I didn't get stuck a single time through the um Playing. I like how you remember the puzzles from five years ago. I couldn't even remember if I owned the game or not from five years ago. So <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. So yeah. it sounds like you uh, agree with me then and you disagree with Kevin and what he's saying about the dis difficulty of the puzzles. I think that the first time through, the difficulty is spot on for this game. And I really yeah. enjoyed it as a one-time experience. But I just think revisiting it, it has some things that don't make it as good a time experience the second time. I could see that. I, I think these kind of games it's hard to replay them like there's there's really not a whole lot that's offering a second time you know so i definitely understand your point of view i think kevin you were you were talking to me about how you wish the character moved a little faster yeah i kept thinking i could run or something yeah i, I agree with that too and, I and i first it played it my first slow. impression was that the guy was too the character was too slow maybe i'm used to fast-paced games now i probably am but especially when you sort of like you know what the puzzle's supposed to be you know but you're just like it takes you 10 seconds to run across yeah. the screen 
get that, the box. Yeah, that, I, the I did kind of have that problem. So that was too. exactly what I was. T- I was telling Jeff right after I beat it. I, I called them. I was like, I beat it. I don't want to talk about it too much, but I want to say one thing. And the one thing that I said that I got annoyed with was the puzzles. That even though the checkpoint system is very forgiving, and you know, as soon as you get to a new puzzle, that's like where the checkpoint is, and it stops you. And you know, if you die or do something, you'll go right to the beginning of the puzzle. But sometimes the puzzles are a little bit longer. And if I died, I'd have to go back to the beginning. And if the puzzle required one, two, and three, and I died at two or three, I'd have to go all the way back to one. And it was like something that after you figure out the first part, it's so easy to, you, you know what it is now because you, you figured it out, but it's it just such a pain to have to, oh, here comes another ad. I think I switched it out now. Um, <laughs> how quick do they put those ads in? Um, I, I, I didn't like that, you know, part one is push a block and you have to carry it across a, a long pathway and, you know, he does it at the speed of snail. So it's like every time I would die at part two or three for the puzzle, I got to go back and push the box all the way across. And it's just like, that's part of the reason I get tired. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to do this again. I already know how to do it. Why does the game have to test me to keep doing this part when this isn't the challenge? The challenge is the one, making a certain one, jump or something now. The one what part that stuck out to me from you, like when you say that, was there was a puzzle where, and you guys might remember this, like I think you j- jumped in water and then I had to swim. I had to keep looking back at the girl that was chasing me. Yep. And then I would swim a little forward more yep. and then look back. And then I get to the part where you try to like, I think you were trying to hit a button or hit a surface. Yes. And it would cause you to get killed. So you had to do something else. And I having to look back at the girl every single time, it did get frustrating. Like, oh, I got to do this again, yes, like just to figure was, out what I just, need to do at the end, like that it kind of stuff. It wasn't terrible. I don't want to be like, oh, this game's terrible because of that. Because yeah. I would only say... Out of every puzzle, maybe it did this 35%, 40%. Like, it was a good chunk, yeah. but it didn't, like... I wasn't, like, angry and quit and raged over it, but it was just and a I, little bit of an annoyance. I appreciate the frequent checkpoints. Like, they really did, do put yes. you right up to the, you know... It's almost a hint where they put you, which helps you if you die or get stuck. So the checkpoints are good. But, you know, I think... I mean, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get to it, but I'll say that the reason... This game kind of has a cult status. When it came out, I remember IGN gave it a 10 out of 10. Really? I didn't uh, know people that. People talk about this game. Wow. Um, That's amazing. And the reason is not because of its puzzles. You know, the reason why people remember this game is not because it's the most ingenious puzzle game ever, right? It's because of the... Art style? Uh, the atmosphere, yeah. the mysterious... The, the, really, the story arc and how intriguing the... the uh, the whole setting and questionable story is, you know, like that's what people remember about this game. And to me, the second time through, that's still what left the impression yeah, it's, about it's the game. It's a beautiful game. I, this game is. I think it's like the, like the scenes, everything about it is beautiful. I, I just, I, I'm not one to just play a beautiful game because it's beautiful. And I know there's some games that, you know, a walking simulator, you want to look at everything and it just really, nah, that's not me. So it was a little harder for me to get into it. I didn't, I, I did like verify that everything that you're saying is true. I was like, yep, this is beautiful. This is cool. But I feel like I, the excitement level wasn't there for me for a lot of the game. And that's why I kept saying it was like a sleepy game for Kevin. See, it really surprises me because there's so many times where like I was on the edge of my seat as something, I just barely escaped something that was about seat. to grab me. And Have I'm like, oh man, that was crazy. And then you're seat. in bed sleeping. I, I, I'm showing on screen right now. Here's, here's the little boy pushing a, a, a what is that like a little raft thing what are those uh what are those things called the 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 stuff you put shipping container shipping thing a pallet a pallet thank you i'm like what is that word you need to push the pallet across the water and you climb up like that was an obvious puzzle like that wasn't anything it just it just takes time to push the stupid thing across the water and climb it it just like the i think the points you're saying aren't wrong it's just when it's all in one package, it's only a few hours long. It makes it like the perfect amount. I guess, I guess that's true. And that is something I did say to you right after when I was calling you, I said, I do think it's, I don't think it's too long of a game. I think it's the right, right amount. Yeah. Yeah. It's the right length. It's like what, three yeah. or four hours. And it... yes, yeah, I beat it in a weekend. I mean, it wasn't even, Yeah, well, I'm, we have a playthrough of a guy playing it right now and he's, he's already over half of the game and we've only been having this on for how long? <laughs> Yeah. So I guess if you know what you're doing, you can find How many more minutes we got until he's done? Can I ask the next question? What do you guys think happened in this game? What do you think is going on? Bro, I looked it up because I didn't get what the hell was (laughs) going on. No, no, no. That's cheating. But well, hold on. I didn't even get what they said. So I don't even. uh, my, My initial thought was 
I thought the baby, I thought the, the, the baby, the, the, the chunk of people at the very end laying on the beach, I thought was like supposed to be like a fetus and like a baby. And I thought that it was like, oh, this is like some secret laboratory where it builds whatever baby or fetus goes into a lady when she's having a baby. And this is like, like the world wow. inside. It's kind of what I thought. Because <laughs> the way it was laying, it looked like a little fetus, like a little baby being born. That's my initial thought before I looked it up so, online. So I took it as you start as like a kid and then you slowly uncover there's like a secret government or some secret department that's conducting these bad experiments that are leading to like these husks of people. And then what you end up doing is you infiltrate this government and you're trying to break it down. But in the process of tearing down this, you know, terrible thing, you end up becoming the thing that they were making. And that's kind of like, it comes full circle. That's kind of how I took it. I, pretty much. I think I, you know, my I want, impression is very similar to Jeff's. I want it to seems disagree like with you. Even fetus theory. I, don't know. I want to disagree with you, but it's like, you could be right. I have no clue what happened. It's just like, I guess that's the whole point. This is like one of those movies you walk out of the theater and you go, I don't know. It's, what do you think happened? I think yeah. this. And I, I'm not usually a fan of that kind of stuff. It's like, I want to be told and I want a, a, a plate with everything I know is on it. And that's what I want. <laughs> So, it's a game that asks it asks a lot of questions. The game is constantly asking these story based you know questions of what is going on, what is this creepy hair lady with the hair in the yeah, water, I, what is this blob? I'm thinking that was like my yeah. sister or something, or uh, it doesn't really it doesn't answer them at all. Really, I'm hoping they would have done more at that one, yeah. And if, I mean, some people don't like that. Me personally, I'm I'm okay with it because I'm so intrigued by it that I'm okay coming up with my own story. And I think whatever they did to try to explain it would make it not as cool. It's just I don't, you know, making it mysterious. And it was, I thought it was cool. Like the one part where you're, you're acting as the blob and you're trying to get through the door and the guy who works at this company is trying to unlock it. But then as you get closer, he runs away and then you have to wait for him to open it for you. And it's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of like them just blowing up from the inside out. Like even these employees don't want to be doing this kind of stuff. So yeah, I, that I was an that interesting was little thing. I thought the whole blob sequence was really neat. I thought that yeah, was the- the, yeah, that's the really the highlight awesome. of the game is the moment you're the blob and all the people that have been chasing after you you're you taking back running like crazy from you and you just slaughter them all that's yeah, that's now it's my cool. turn no <laughs> doubt to that moment i think yeah i i um something else i think would have been a little bit unique which i think would have been cool if they did in general was the whole blob part at the very end was probably what 15 percent of the game because of how short the game is and yeah. um, I thought that whole sequence was really neat because it was very different than what you were doing the whole game as a little boy. I, I, I don't know why – the boy sequence stuff is fun, but I think that the whole part of that was just too long. If they would have like maybe had you halfway through the game turn into something else you played through it as 20% of the game at, and then maybe one other thing and then the blob, and it just kind of added variety and changed it up because the puzzles just seemed like – I mean, they were all different. They're not like they were similar, but – you had to use the same item for everything. That block that had the fans in it that shot you up. Like, I don't know. Was it really that, you know, prevalent that they're just all over the place and you can use them and the poles were in the right spot? It just, it was a little bit hokey. Yeah, I agree that it kind of took too much time to set up the real exciting part of the finale yeah, of the game. You know? So they could have sort of tried to add some more of that throughout the rest of it. They do add some interesting stuff, like the, the girl with the hair that comes out and strangles you, and all of a sudden you can breathe underwater. They add stuff. Yeah, that was crazy. I did not know what was going on at that point. Did you yeah. like that part, Kevin? I did. No, that was some of the parts I liked. There were, yeah. there were I thought the I thought the underwater stuff was pretty cool. They did a cool thing with it. It didn't make it like a really I, crappy underwater. Like, yeah, I did not expect that at all. So there was like, some stuff I did, did not see coming that I actually did enjoy. Yeah, that part was cool. I forgot about that um yeah I'm trying to think of i will say i can't believe it's already been five years and they're still i haven't heard anything from that development team of making anything new yeah that's surprising too i didn't think about that like what are they because both their games were really well received yeah that is a little odd i wonder what the reasoning is why they haven't actually worked on something else or maybe... i looked it up the other day but i can't remember <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I honestly, uh, some with companies and merging, and they the head the, to the head of the company got in a fight with like one of the other heads, and he, he broke off. Yeah, you know, I think there's as many like two you know puzzle platformers as there are. This game still feels unique to me. You know, it still feels that like this is a kind of game that I haven't really played before. I think just because of, again the 
the intrigue around the how mysterious and strange a lot of the parts of the game are you know so they could kind of take a similar gameplay and make a new weird situation right and be a fresh yeah game right now i think i, uh, I think so for I think sure i would play true. more and I think, well, I, I, this is going to go against exactly what I'm going to say, though, is I think the length has a lot to do with it, of me not liking it less. I think if it was an extra hour, I probably would have been like, I don't even know how I finished this game. But when it ended, I was like, okay, I that was palatable. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was an okay experience. I The story kind of had me scratching my head. I have no desire to go back and play it again, but I was glad I yeah. did. Um. All right, to try to change topics slightly, the um, I don't know if you guys know about the secret orbs in the game. There's, I think, yeah. 12 or 13 of them. Did either of you uh, try to attempt to get any of those or see the secret I, ending thing? I didn't even know they were there. <laughs> I found one on my own. And it's one of actually my criticisms of the game. It's like there's just not enough secret stuff or collectible stuff, but I guess maybe the game is supposed to kind of be very simple in its nature. Yeah. But I, they're hard to find. I only found one. I found one I by accident, through. too. Same thing. So what are these? Like they're, they're those little like collect? disco ball things that have lights in them. I don't know if you've saw okay. any on your journey, and you have to like unplug them or something. And then I, uh, after I beat it, I watched a walkthrough, just some doing it to see what happens at the end. And spoiler alert, everybody, um, there's a. It's very hard to do. You literally have to collect all of them before you get to the end level, right before you become a blob. And then you climb up this rope that's hidden behind a wall. You have to climb oh, up wow. there, go into this thing, and then there's a giant version of those little orbs that are there, this huge thing. You have to go inside of it. You can't see inside of it, and you have to know to press a button and pull something while you're inside of it, and then it activates, and then you just get an achievement that says you've you've done it all or whatever, and then that's it. So it's a little bit lackluster. Wow. There's not, like, anything cool or... It would be nice to, like, Steve, you said, like, unlockables or, like, give me, like, a different costume to wear or just something while you're playing to kind of keep it fresh because it was so... Yeah. It's very simple is the right word. I think this game is just so simplistic. It's a great thing, but I think for me it kills a little bit. But I think, you know, it's like a simple piece of modern art where it's like it's not supposed to be anything crazy. It's supposed to be what it is and you interpret it and so I guess I'm just too small minded to find this <laughs> a great game, but <laughs> But like you're saying how simple it is when you're saying you're too minded no no i don't so. mean no 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 i mean it's simple because there's like there's not a lot of different controls there's not a, it's a straightforward game you do puzzles you get to the end that's it like that's the, what i mean simple not like the complexity of the puzzles and stuff like that i think that i it's, mean like to me like it was kind of a breath of fresh air if you we have all these triple a games nowadays that are you know 60 70 100 hour adventures that like because i just got done playing gris probably a few months ago and this mm -hmm. is this kind of a similar game very artsy there's no combat, nothing like that. And it's nice to just know that I can just play the game, focus on solving the puzzle, and move on. I don't have to search 100 containers or look around for different things or, yeah. oh, there's this path to the right, but I want to go to the left first so I can make sure I clear that area out. Like, I could just go forward, do the thing, enjoy the story, and just move on. Like, I really enjoy that, especially considering it's only four hours or five hours. Like, it made it a lot more palatable. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um I, I, I just played through The Pedestrian, which is a game that came out pretty recently on uh, Steam and consoles, I think. Check out now. the review on Link Cable Gaming. Check out the review, yep, written by yours truly. Um, and that was a similar type game. It's a puzzle game where you play in a 2D world and you have to solve puzzles. But I think that game did a little bit more... It was definitely like an aesthetic type game, too, where you were walking through environments and like the background was like a big deal versus just like doing puzzles on like on whatever... So it had a cool background, it had cool environments, but you were there were cool little secrets. You could find different hats for your character to wear. And then there were little kind of Easter eggs throughout the levels that you could find and different ways you can approach things a little bit. Um, a little bit, not not a ton. But I, I know, Jeff, you had asked me before, did you like this better than The Pedestrian? Because they're both kind of straightforward 2D puzzle games. And I actually thought Pedestrian was better. Even though I feel like this is more of a... It feels like a big, big budget game, even though it's not. Um... I don't know. That was. It's a little weird. I'm. I'm not a big puzzle guy in the first place. So it, just for me to play a game like this, was a little bit outside of my like normal wheelhouse. Even though I played Limbo, which again, that's still a weird game for me to play, and I did play that. So I don't know. And you liked it more than Inside. I, I thought the puzzles and the the moving around and stuff was a little more fun. I like the world in this game better though. I didn't like the black and white very much. Yeah. 
So I don't know. I Okay, so if we have to give our overall thoughts, what would we say? And then we give it our generic score and then final thoughts about it all. What would you guys say? Jeff, you want to go first? <laughs> um, I think this is a great game. I think if you got a few bucks lying around, you want to enjoy a five-hour adventure, you can just sit down and play some puzzles and get a crazy story. Go try it out. Um, I'd probably give it uh, like a four out of five. Yeah, but we do it out of ten here, Jeff. Oh, sorry. So I guess it'd be like a eight out of ten. Okay. Okay. Steve, what about you? So, I mean, I go back to thinking about when I played it at the time versus now. Um, yeah, to me, to me now, it's. I think it's a game I'd really recommend to almost anybody. I think it's a, it's a simple game. It's 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 a short game, but it's 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 very intriguing. It's got a really cool story. Um, and it sticks with you after you play it. It kind of makes you feel something towards the end. So I think most gamers, I think I'd like, I'd, I'd really recommend, especially because it's free on Games Pass right now. It's like four hours long. Um, I think that if you're playing through a second time, I, I might not really recommend it a second time through. But first time through, and I'm thinking back to even when I played it five years ago, I think I I gave it a nine, probably nine point five out of ten back then. And I think I'd stick with that. Like it's wow. what it, th this game sets out to do. I feel like it does it extremely well and it doesn't really set out to do much more than that, but I don't really think it needs to. So, okay. okay. Hey, so I'm a little bit opposite. I, I thought that the game was okay. Um, it's very middle line for me where I didn't, I didn't not like it, but it was very hard sometimes to keep going. I'm kind of glad we did this to kind of force myself to play through it to kind of just get it done because I feel like this would have been a game that I would have started and just gave up because I wasn't too uh, connected to it, trying to keep going, and I didn't really care to see it through. Um, but because I did finish it, because we kind of agreed to play a game and go through the end, I do think I liked it better after I got to the end and figured out how short it was. And, you know, if I didn't get to that blob part, I think I would have hated this game a little bit more, but that was pretty unique. I did enjoy the puzzles you did with it. Um, just seeing it move was kind of just creepy and it was very unique so I, I i kept thinking about this while i was playing it going this is a good five out of ten game this is like yeah it's okay oh, it's wow. whatever but the blobby pushed it up to a six because like i said it is it's not a long part of the game but the game itself isn't very long so it is a good chunk and i, I really did enjoy that last part because I, I remember even just like playing with it because you go through the water a little bit and i was like walking up and down making noises and stuff with it so <laughs> i would say six out of ten that's where i would probably put it i would I recommend you to play it? Mm, depends on what our competition is of what you could be playing. <laughs> but if you've got nothing else and this is available, I think it's worth playing. But, I mean, if you've got another game that you were amped to play, you should probably play that first, in my opinion. So, but yeah. Okay. At least you recommend it, so I'll give you that. I'm, I'm glad I played it because it's it's I do enjoy talking about it and kind of seeing. And it is good that we all have different opinions. We're not all just going, we love this game. It's just great. Don't you love it? I love it too. So it's it's good to have a little bit of um, disagreement. Variety. Variety, yeah. Um, all right, so uh, we're about to a half-hour mark. I'm trying to keep this. That's so pretty good. Uh, I believe next month we are playing a Hat in Time is the month of game of the month. Is that right? Yep. Um, yeah, I, just, that one. I just started. I love simple platformers. So have have you played good. that before, or is that something new to you? Nope. That's okay, new. Good, good. I want it to be new for everybody. Yeah, new to me. Yeah, I played that today for the, about five minutes, so I don't have a whole lot of thoughts on it yet, and I can't wait to play more. And it's on Games Pass, right? Oh, is it? I didn't even. I, I have it on PC. It? I bought it a long time oh. ago too. <laughs> I have to actually buy it. Oh, I don't know if it's on Game Pass. It might be. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. No, okay. it's probably cheap. How much was it? I uh, I think it's like fifteen bucks, maybe. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know. All right. All right, guys. Well, thanks for sticking around, listening to us argue and complain about the game inside. I'm sorry. Me complain. Those two talk about how much I love this game. We go will play see it. You. Yeah, go play it. Yeah. Great. Maybe. Go play Limbo instead. All right. I will see you guys next month for same thing for game month. Take it easy. Bye, everyone.